the chair. In my hand, I signed that grateful lodge, Marshall Bridge, brother and sister, coming first, first, first. As, uh, I don't have time to unpack that this morning. Yeah, that was my mistake. Now we're done. Okay, so what's here? What's back? The chair. The chair. The chair is back. It's not in its normal place, but it's back. Yeah, but it's the chair. You. The cross would be the last thing. The cross would be the last thing. You're right. That that was insightful of you. Try not to hit anybody with your flying elbows. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about a chair. What is symbolic and helpful about a chair? What do you think? You are first. Yeah. Um, you can sleep in it, you can sit in it, you can work in it, and... Okay, that's all functional, but what's symbolic? Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with Nora next, because that was the next hand I saw. And then I think it was out. Wasn't it? Or was it? Yeah. yeah. No, no. Oh. Okay, Nora. Right. What? Yep, all functional, good. I think it was Alan. Yeah. <laughs> Use it as Jesus' throne. Use it as Jesus' throne or something. That must have been Zach's too from the way he's growling. <laughs> um, that's a bit of a stretch, but okay. I can see where you're going with that. That's good. Here's how I want to talk about it. At every table, especially in Bible tables, there is a place of honor. It's like a special guest. And in the story we read today from the Bible, Jesus is sitting in the place of honor at the table. They sit down for a meal. But then something really weird happens, right? Mary comes and anoints his feet with oil. Now, how many of you have stinky feet? <laughs> it's really not a trick question. You all kind of do, because we all, I don't know, it's part of the human condition. Imagine if you spent the day walking through the desert in sandals, but your feet were wrapped in cloth, and then the sandal was there. So kind of like socks and sandals. I know oh, that's cool and fashionable. Oh, no. uh, but, but think of it more as a, a, a wrapping to protect the foot. Like and then you walk through, yeah, like gauze, that'd be good. And you walk through the desert several miles to get to where you're going. You think your feet might be a little stinky? Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course they would. And then she wipes it with her hair. And then she wipes it with her hair. Wait, I didn't hear that part. Her, <laughs> her hair. Her hair. Her hair. Her hair. Why? Her hair. I'm glad you asked. I don't oh, no. get it. She did that as a sign of loyalty and submission to Jesus to say that he was the most important person in the room and the one whose guidance she was willing to follow. Now, I'm not suggesting you have to wipe people's feet with your hair, but following Jesus and following what Jesus taught, that's a good thing. So, you don't have to necessarily get perfume and wipe people's feet with your hair, but what the story reminds us of is the importance of being willing to fall that lowly before Jesus and remember to follow him. So the chair we're going to talk about as a place of honor, but also some responsibility. And it is an important symbol in the midst of, excuse me, of everything that happens in the chancel and in front of us that we remember for worship. So quick review. We remember the importance of the communion table and what it is to be together as the body of Christ and remember Jesus. We remember the lectern and the scripture that it holds and the importance of the Bible, right? We remember the pulpit and the importance of teaching and learning. And then the baptistry and the importance of baptism and why we do that, right? Mary with Christ, we're going to do this of life. And today we're talking about the chair. And then, yes, next week I'll be talking about the cross because it's the only one left that has built. And so today we're talking about responsibility and honor of following Jesus, okay? Okay. So your responsibility and your honor is to get to follow Jesus. And I hope you will learn well about that today. Let's pray before we go to Jesus. Jesus. 
church. Or say, learn all sorts of new things on your sheet. I didn't say let's crawl to the floor. I said let's pray. <laughs> Dear God, thank you for giving me the honor and the responsibility of following you. Help me to follow in your way. In Jesus' name. Amen.